though if you are it's let's say overweight now, uh, uh, or like anything to that extent i can at least point you know point you in the direction of uh of what you should be doing um versus forum. you know forum. If, you know um, are you doubled uh, you know just just come back hey, here with me we'll, we'll go through this together yeah yeah go ahead go ahead no problem hello all right this way under normal circumstances, we wouldn't be going in between these two cars, but we have a clear line of sight of uh, this entire sort of lane. All right. So, uh, right back here, uh, we are able to inspect the cargo information, which does indicate that there should be, uh, let's see, y'all have a license for tools up to a thousand kilograms. All right. Let's take a look at the cargo. Is that what's back there? Uh, I guess. 77 still needed right, for the, uh, the drug sale at all. <laughs> um. Gonna now that off. ain't right. Uh, how so? Um, so, uh, again, when Don't looking at the sort of cargo manifest here, um, the only thing that should be in the back uh, of the truck here. Uh, should be up to a thousand uh, no, kilograms of tools. However, y'all have uh, quite a few boxes back here uh, that are not labeled as tools. Some magazines, some ammo. Um, and not only that, if I had to, let's see. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely problematic because there is definitely over a thousand uh, kilograms of, of tools. In addition, again, uh, based upon the, the cargo manifest, there should only be tools up to a thousand kilograms. Um, and there's definitely more. But in addition, you also have other things that shouldn't be in there, um, like shipments of magazines, because it's not on the cargo manifest. Um, so again, for context, what I can see here is that a thousand kilograms of tools and there's a lot more than that okay and um in, oh, go ahead in the in the legislation remind me and um, what is the wording around commercial vehicles uh does it specify a uh, group six or grime or anything like that or is it I mean, just, just a commercial moment vehicles in general <clears throat> Uh, all it states is anyone who operates a commercial delivery vehicle in violation of the contracted and or trailer load limits. Officers need no independent or reasonable suspicion other than the operation of the vehicle to spot check these conditions for compliance. Um, and the charge that would be associated, it's actually just a citable offense, um, is a unlawful operation of a wide load citation, uh, which amounts to $1,250, but more importantly... Um, beyond just the fine is the four points on your license um, mm. because that would add up very quickly and for context the reason I did decide to spot check y'all um, was because and a lot of people don't realize this but the the suspension on the actual truck up front gets slammed to the ground when there's a ton of weight here in, in, the, in the trailer um, mm. so I, mm. I was actually on another traffic stop and I saw you all turn onto the freeway, um, and it was a very, very easy way to determine that something was probably afoot. Now, if y'all had a higher, you know, uh, whether it be contract or cargo manifest that indicated that you could have these additional things, that would be fine. However, uh, we're sort of back to, back to square one, considering um, y'all have cargo that is not seemingly on the, the cargo manifest, but in addition... What is, is currently over the weight limit. Okay. Uh, All right. In which case, that's a, that's a complete misunderstanding of the legislation on my part. So, yeah, that's... That, that's, that's perfectly fine. Part. Here's the reality. If, if my first encounter with you um, is, is you, you know, taking what I say um, and not just, you know, sort of perceiving me as the scum of the earth because I'm ruining your job, as some people would say... Um, <laughs> For me, this is this is a learning experience, right? Um, if I can inform you um, as to you know what should be in the back um, versus what's currently in there, and you know what's legal and what's not, um, I'm not going to issue a citation here. Y'all have been very compliant. Y'all have not been combative in any way, shape, or form. 
right? I very much operate on the motto of if you work with me, I work with you, right? I'm an energy matcher. You don't give me okay. sass, I don't give you sass, right? Um, oh, and well, heck you, I hope you. Oh my no, God, how none, could none you? I'm, no, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, listen, I, here's the thing. I can't legally tell you to deliver this, right? If another officer were to pull you over and decide to issue a citation, that would be completely legal. However, I am willing to let you all off with a warning and in, in utilizing this as a teachable moment so that moving forward, hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, though, if I were to pull you over in the future, you know, not right now, considering I obviously expect you to be uh, operating a wide load given the circumstances, uh, but let's say in an hour from now, right? Y'all are, you, you know, cargo manifest indicates something completely different um, and everything in, in the trailer is completely different. Uh, and y'all are still overweight at that point. I mean, I, I'd probably... The likelihood of getting a warning at that point is pretty slim, right? I think that's that's pretty yeah. fair to, to assume. Um, but in this Un case, considering this is my first conversation with y'all, um, I don't really have... Uh, you know, I, I'm not issuing a citation. Though, what I do need... Um, driver, if you wouldn't mind, if I could just see your ID. Um, just so that I can know who you yeah, are. Absolutely. And perfect. There you go. are 1934 for the state id correct and that is correct perfect okay all right well listen like i said teachable moment here i'm gonna let y'all off with a warning um y'all you know continue doing whatever it is you need to do again legally i can't instruct you to deliver this while operating a wide load so again it you are operating at your own risk because should another officer pull you over you understand the the consequences right yeah, we understand that. Just me right. hoping um, that uh, the the second vehicle that's just pulled up is not going to be that uh, that cop that immediately pulls us over. Uh, doubtful. A uh, couple of hundred feet up the road. No, no likely not going to happen. <laughs> no, um, it's, it's all good. No, no, you're you're good. You're good. Um, I will also say this um, regarding uh, commercial vehicles, um, and this applies to. Uh, group six, grime, stuff like that. Specifically, it's written as, within the charge, tier two and three vehicles. Um, if y'all are found to be operating in a negligent way, there's sort of an enhancement citation. Um, so you, let's say you were driving um, uh, over the speed limit and off-road, right? Uh, an officer could cite you for both the speed in addition to a... Uh, Oh gosh, what's it worded as? Unsafe operation of a large commercial vehicle. Um, and so that is also four points in a $1,250 fine, but you get that on top of whatever, you know, the original reason you're pulled over. And the way it's specifically worded is anyone who operates a tier two or three commercial vehicle, Grime, Group Six, etc., off road or in an otherwise negligent fashion. Uh, this applies to tow and sanitation trucks. This charge is an enhancement. As such, it may and should be applied in addition to any other negligent or reckless driving charges. So you could literally get hit with negligent driving, which is two points under license, and unsafe operation of a large commercial vehicle, which is four points. And then you are, you Plus are a good portion of the way. A, a wide and heavy load. Ten points yeah, and in one go. Oof. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? You're not wrong. That could technically be ten if y'all were. Uh, overweight or over your contracted uh, cargo limits or points if you then get or if you're caught off road and you're driving negligently that's an additional six points and that is halfway to your license suspension and to be clear mm. when people hit 20 points their license is suspended even if it's not revoked by a police officer it's suspended until it drops below 20 um, and people don't realize this it then becomes a misdemeanor for you to drive so essentially you can sort of perceive it as if you're in the driver's seat of a vehicle while your license is suspended, there's practically a warrant out for your arrest because it's a misdemeanor. Oh, jeez. So, okay. again, I just ask that, you know, y'all y'all be mindful of that moving forward. Um, and, uh, yeah, beyond that, did y'all have any comments, questions, or concerns? No, uh, I no. appreciate all the information. Not a problem. Yeah, very much appreciate the uh, no problem the information. Well that, well, that kind of screws up my plans for the rest of the day of uh, 
taking the truck off road and seeing how fast we can go you know, <laughs> might might be a bad you know idea. you oh, know it's darling. i promise you it is not <laughs> it is not a good idea to be doing that um because not only would it then be illegal but more importantly um number one y'all are not going to be safe doing so but i mean if you're talking about this thing already needing to repair trust me if you're off road you're going to be running through you know a good portion of uh wear and tear just on on the off-road bits yeah that's mm, not absolutely. blow up over some trust um, me it ain't you know? worth it it ain't yeah. worth it ain't no job worth your life i promise you that i agree, oh, I all right. agree. True. well y'all are gonna be free to go into the back of my vehicle and my emergency lights are off okay y'all stay safe <laughs> have a wonderful day One thirty ten eight. Saw a group six truck heading in this direction. Okay, bud. You know what? Uh, you miss repeating? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. It would turn right in front the of us. Corner of Utopia Parkway and Maze Bank Arena. Just got a uh, 95 requires medical from a few uh, <clears throat> taser cartridges in him. Yeah, driving today is uh, <laughs> a bit iffy. Hey, thank you. It ain't the day. It is not the day. Though I'm actually really looking forward to the scout. Um, the reason I like the Scout so much is it's that, like, middle ground vehicle that, like, isn't the best, isn't the worst, uh, can mostly keep up, and, um, and you don't have to worry about, like, unit limits or anything like that. Oh my god, I know what I'm doing. We're... We are going to hit people with the charge. We're going to wait in the off-road path next to the water treatment plant on the freeway. Oh, that's so fucking dirty. I hate myself. Let's go refuel up here. Oh, is this Patty? Oh, this has to be Patty. This has to be Patty. It's blue. It's blue. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Dispatch 130, 1038 northbound Great Ocean Highway. Uh, right at the start next to Del Perro with a uh, Cluck and Bell 18 wheeler. The blue truck. I just showed a Patty Guinness. Is it overweight? Oh, it's overweight. You you can tell by the front wheels. How are we doing, Rhodes? <laughs> hey, Mr. Guinness, how you doing? How you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. How well, I'm doing? Officer Rhodes of the Los Santos I'm Police Department. How are you? I am. I'm not doing too bad. Can't complain. That's good. Have a That's good. Tea and, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I would like to inform Hello. you. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Good, good. That's good to hear. Um, so. Uh, the reason for the stop is, uh, this is actually going to be a spot check. I'm just checking for mm. compliance, mm. making sure that the cargo is all in order. Of course. Um, is there anything you, you wish to tell me before I inspect said cargo? <laughs> uh, there is actually, you know, we had, okay. uh, a lot of us down at Grime led by, uh, led by Marlo. I don't know if you know Marlo. Okay. We were talking, uh, well, he was talking to the mayor and we were getting some clarifications and all the shenanigans mm -hmm. and uh turns out we actually can bring a thousand of the different types of cargo so that was good that we actually got that clarification so there's like different uh different ones we can get like those let me see right now 
I think there's like food, drinks, electronics, like ammo, clothes, stuff like that. So we can actually now have a full, uh, we can have a full one, but we gotta be, uh, you know, switch it up. Um, okay, so Just here's the issue with that. that. Oh, no. uh, the way it's worded is anyone who operates a commercial delivery vehicle in violation of the contracted and or trailer load limits. And the issue with that mm -hmm. uh, becomes when I go back there and inspect the cargo manifest, there is typically one thing and one thing only. Um, yes. And that's problematic on the basis that if there is. We're going off with the mayor's legislation because Marlo's basically unionized us down at Grime. So here's the thing the the mayor is, is going to have to push for a wording change because that's not how that's not how this reads. Also, because I understand that it's his, it's his legislation, no, from enacted. Uh, I'm, his... I'm going to be real. I don't I don't know. I just know that it states in violation of the contracted Well, the thing yeah. is, let me ask you this right, right yeah there, because there's a sticker on the back but then there's our contracts as well that we take uh-huh is you know that we say within our limits of our contract okay tell you what uh, so you're mm -hmm. saying that this was specifically put forth by the mayor yeah well yeah that's what this we were told and according to Marlo, yeah. the mayor, mayor and Marlo. so here's here's what i'm willing to do i i mm -hmm. will personally reach out to the mayor and inquire about the intent okay yeah that would and the reason lot, I'm going to do so. So much mixed signaling. Uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so here's what I'm willing to do. I'm going to go back there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check. I'm going to take y'all's word. Okay. If there is additional cargo beyond what's, you know, contracted, um, I, I'll look past that for now. Though, if you do have any specific cargo above a thousand uh, kilograms, which is how it's typically. I mean, who knows? It could be 500 for, for all I know. I, I I have no idea, right? It's Until varies, I inspect yeah, it. It's um, but it's more. if it's over the limit, then I am going to give y'all the wide load citation. Yeah, we um, right, yeah. That's fair. And I, like I said, I, I'm not I'm not saying that what y'all are saying is, is how it's legally supposed to be enforced. Um, but I will try to get clarification from the mayor if he was the one to push forth uh, that, that legislation, yeah. okay? All right, so do me a favor. Uh, just make sure the, the engine is kept off. If you'd like, you can go ahead and uh, uh, come to the back with me. Uh, ah, we trust you, me. man. We trust you. All right, all right. Sit tight. Or or come this way. That works. There we go. Here we are. All right, 110% meat. That's uh, concerning, <clears throat> I think. 100 and what? Says 110 percent meat on the side. I don't, I don't know what that means. All right, let me take a look here. All right. Well, yeah, they advertise that we are at over capacity yeah. with meat, food. Oh, I don't. All the I don't know. All right, let's take a look at what's inside here. Yeah, go for it. I don't, I don't even know what's in there to be honest. All right, we got some drinks. We got some food. Uh, we have some ammo, and that ammo is over. Is the ammo over? Really? Wait, really may maybe it's not. Maybe, hold on, didn't... let me see. Did we, did we didn't do it. <laughs> we didn't do that much. Ammo. I lied. It is not over. Okay. I confused it with some other boxes. Yeah, there we are. Uh, let me just double check here. We've been diversifying our pickup specifically for... Because it's a right pain in the ass, honestly. Okay, so um, y'all wouldn't mind if I were to take a photo, correct? Yeah, go for it. All right, just a moment. I mean, I want the clarification, honestly, because it, we're getting different things from, like, the mayor, different things from other people, things from...
All right. I think she had uh, a headache. So, ooh, I didn't even realize. I was I was too busy mathing. Why don't she right, left? So, one of the two. Oh, you know, in your presence, I wouldn't exactly be surprised. What she probably has heck? to put up with a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What? Uh, I said what I said, off? Patty. Yeah, but uh, where's this coming from? The Patty. Mm -hmm. I've had so many conversations with you and nothing yeah. ain't nothing changed. I don't know how she deals with you. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Are y'all a thing? No, no, no. No? Friends? Family? Yeah. Not family, no. We're both Irish. So friends? Yeah. And y'all are always together? Not always. Bullshit. I ain't ever seen any of you two <laughs> away from each other. Then again, really? I only I only ever see y'all yeah, in here. Decided to pull us over in this thing. Uh huh. Right. I went on out of fuel in a car. Mm hmm. Likely story, Mister Guinness. You gonna make any more of those anonymous nine one ones? No, no, no. We're those days are behind us. All right. It was. You a know, very... I'm glad you finally admitted to Look, it. It was a mis It's about Look. damn time. Look, it was a series of mis North unfortunate Bell? events. Okay. Elgin Avenue. Right. right. It really was. It really was. Okay. All right. Well, uh, sit tight. I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of the mayor. Um. And try to get to the bottom of this. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah. Ready. Could you 10 and Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. You're good. Three hours ago. Um. What about Damn. Siobhan? Dispatch 160, show me 1042, max XP acquired. <laughs> Have a good one, pin zone kid today. Glad you got your XP. One full XP op over. Oh. Is it over? A firm. A firm. What, what did you just do? Yeah. <laughs> the mayor. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll text. As instructed. Mayor. All right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I was unable to get a hold of the mayor. So, uh, what I'm going to do instead is, uh, you know, because y'all haven't violated the weight limit on the current cargo, just by having additional cargo, um, I, you know, until I get further clarification, I'm not going to push uh, a wide load citation. Um, so for now, y'all are good. Now, to be clear. I'm not saying what y'all are doing is legal. Um, I'm just saying I myself am not pushing it. So if another officer were to pull y'all over. That is a possibility, but at the same time, um, I can see where some of the confusion could be. Um, unfortunately, you know, the... <laughs> Some laws are written intentionally vague, and so the application can right. be different from officer to officer, uh, depending on their sort of articulation, just general understanding of it. Here's the thing. I'm not somebody who likes to push the burden uh, on someone to then be like, well, if you don't like it, just appeal it. And meanwhile, I'm sitting there questioning like, eh, maybe they have a point, you know? Um, I'd rather get clarification from the source. 
and, and then push it properly moving forward. So yeah, that's what we've been trying to do. Like we tried to reach out to the mayor because we we're trying to find our options to figure out what the law meant because we had our questions about it ourselves. You know, like just in general, like what does it all mean? Um. Yep. And like. Um, because obviously Frank just gives us contracts, like he doesn't uh, seem to give a crap about the law. So we're trying to work out where the middle, like where it all standed with the, this. And that's when we spoke to Marlo, who did this whole thing down at Grime, like a couple days ago. So, um, yeah, no, I, to I totally understand where y'all are coming from. What's going on. So every day we get something new, and so we're just trying to work out where the right answer is. That's all. No, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. Um, now, that being said, y'all are going to be free to go. Okay, y'all can get back into your vehicle and leave. Um, it seems the traffic is cleared up, so I'm not too concerned right now. Um, yeah. But yeah, but do y'all have any comments, know, questions? Like, if you concerned? have anything, if you find out, let us know, because it, it would help a lot to let everybody know what's going on at Graham. Absolutely. As soon as I know, I will ensure that y'all know. Do me a favor, make sure y'all on the yellow, or the lemon list. That way I can uh, get a hold of y'all, okay? All right. No All worries. All right. Stay safe. Both of you. Have a great one, Rhodes, okay? Um, are you sure you want Patty driving? I've, I've been good, man. My, my points are down. They're down to like four now. I haven't been getting tickets. To be fair, I, I haven't been around. How yeah, much in you, there, Patty? What? Is there not any other competent after? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I am seemingly the only one who pulls you over. Um, really? That's actually not yeah, wrong. Maybe, uh, probably. Uh, it's time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, everything all right? Why yeah, no. Are you no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, well. right. All right, y'all stay safe. Okay, please, please get get out from behind that truck quick. Before more cars come crashing. Yeah, I said quick. Uh, all right, you're on your own, bud. I can't. <sighs> this bet. Oh shit, dispatch 130. There's a vehicle doing 130 northbound Great Ocean. It's a white club. I'm in route. We can see if they turn onto Route 68. There's no way they continued this way. Mosley's car sales. Hello? Hey, uh, I'm interested in purchasing a vehicle. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll head down to Mosley's in a few minutes. I'll be there in like maybe two. Two minutes? Okay. Yeah. All right. You I'll see a guy in a blue suit. That's me, okay? Perfect. Sounds good. See you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.
Not intentional, but here we are. One thirty-eight is gonna be code four. Dispatch one thirty UTL on that white club northbound Great Ocean. I did call the registered owner of the vehicle, and um, he had an ad out, uh, advertising selling vehicles. So they're gonna meet me at Mosley's. I'm sorry. Are you about to? <laughs> Undercover boss, motherfucker. Uh, you could say that. Would you like a 77? Sure. 197 to 76. One thirty at twenty three at Mosley's. Again, on the lookout for a white club. Eight eight one will be in the area. We're gonna park by the little motels or whatever, uh, just across the street. A firm. from 125 go for 130 what was the vehicle that fled from you and who are we looking for white club ro was mikado ishi i mean i'm getting a phone call standby Got me. hello hello sir i'm by the showroom right now perfect i'll be there shortly all right individual is actually at Mosley's ready I'm looking around for the vehicle but I ain't seen it Sorry. <laughs> say I'm in a manual. I don't know how to use it. Is that what I heard? Hmm. Uh, 
are still. I'm waiting on them. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. It's me. Hello. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Y you know, you have. You have. Yeah, um, I've been. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what so, car are you going to buy, officer? Uh, well, I, I was curious to know okay. um, if y'all had any ingots in stock. Yes, um, and, we have ingots in stock, yes. And what their price was. Oh, that's a good question. Let me do that out for you quickly. 130 status. I'm Ocean King. Uh, it is currently $8,347. I believe that is with tax. Okay. All right. Well, I do intend on uh, getting my husband uh, an ingot. So um, mm -hmm. when he's around... Uh, unfortunately, I didn't know if, if they were going to be available or anything. Because last time, the last one got sold right in front of us by someone who cut in front of us. Oh, no. Yeah. no well, so our, mm -hmm. our system has completely changed. That's the way we have. We have basically everything is available for test drive. And we so order cars in. So you come in, you bar a car off us, and then we send in a request. One of the tow guys, as you see outside right now, that fed up with the fancy car on the back. Yep. What they'll do is they'll go down to the, uh, the docks, and they'll pick up the car for you, bring it here and deliver it. Once it's been delivered, you'll get an email, or the purchaser will get an email, and then they come down here, sign the final paperwork, and then they get their car. Very interesting. Very, fancy, very, very efficient. Much better than the old, obviously, dog site system that we used to have. There is you know what? Stock runs and you're not you know, wrong. Horrible days because they was. He's not wrong. Very good. Much better. Now. So you're yeah, not wrong. Anytime you're ready for it, just give any salesperson a call, and we'll be able to help you out. Will do, mm -hmm. will do. Okay, well, uh, so this is actually also a two-part thing. Um, okay. Your your name is Makoto. Makoto Ishii. Ma okay. Um, just out of curiosity, is somebody driving your vehicle? Uh, no. Why? No. Is there a yeah, reason why it was doing 130 miles an hour up the freeway? Uh. No, I mean my vehicle is parked of uh oh all the way up there in uh what was it? It's not by Great Ocean Highway. My vehicle, it's a club. Mhm. Mm and yeah. I clocked it doing one thirty. Wait, what? Yeah, one thirty up the freeway. Went right past up the me. Freeway? Yeah, I was in a what? traffic stop and it went right past me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Which means you're going to mm. be slowing it down moving forward, right? Okay, officer. Okay. Right? All right. Okay. All right. I, I, All right. I'll slow it down. I'll Thank slow you. it down. Thank you. I appreciate I'll it. I'll slow it down. I'll be yeah. in contact. Uh, okay. All right. Y'all have a good one. Stay pages, safe. You know. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey! Oh. I almost hit you. you guys a car? Yeah, motherfucker. This is a sidewalk. Yeah, I know, uh, sir, but I almost hit you, so you gotta, like, watch it. I have to... No. Sir, I'm, I'm looking pull it over. your best interest. Pull it over. Sir, I'm pull. literally putting this away. Pull, it. pull it over. How can I pull over if I'm pulled engine over? Engine off. Engine off. Okay, engine off. Window engine down. Off. Windows down. Uh, wait, wait, no, Officer, you're in the way. Yeah, okay. Whip, bro. I, I need you to stop go. touching my car. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, I mean, sorry, sorry. I get the lights are on. You can park, but they just need to deliver this car real quick. Sorry, uh, sir. I, I understand, but don't be touching a police vehicle with lights on. So, sir, you are I'm also you kind of amazed that you... Of the no parking zone. I'm also kind of surprised you did that with your fucking number. Oh, look. Do not touch our vehicles. Unless you are specifically instructed to do so. Can I touch it? No. How about now? No. Can I touch no, it with my no. nub? No. He calls it a chicken wing, you know? It doesn't matter. Sir, you... Listen, especially if the lights are on. You do not touch a police vehicle. You have zero idea what we're dealing with. Sir, yeah. I'm getting closer. You should get him. Just he, park he across the car. street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, n no. I'm Are you telling him to Just oh. wait. Is that is that hard to consider? Tell him, tow truck guy, you got him. He's in trouble. Like, just it's it, it just park like even park like a little bit forward. Somebody's trying to deliver a trouble. fucking car, buddy. I understand, okay, but I'm doing my job. 
You tell him, tow truck guy. Don't back down. We're trying to do our job too. And yeah, and, and guess what? Ourselves. You need to wait. You're you're yeah, you you're, in a, no, you're in a no parking spot though. He can tow you. Uh, no, he can't. I mean, you're breaking I the said, law. I'm not breaking the law. Could, and if you read the law, you would know that. No, I just read signs. This is no parking. I follow the law. Yeah, well, guess what? Unauthorized parking has no bearing on a police vehicle with its lights on. Yeah, I would have I would have totally towed him already if he didn't have his lights on. He would have yeah. been gone. Yeah, but you should just tell him off some more. Well, you should just like, like point at him with that up, non-existing guess... hand. Oh, well, he's backing off. He ain't going to say nothing. You, know you should what? be That's like, pussy, that's what I thought. You got to say that now. But like in a gangster way. That's what I thought, pussy. Oh, there no, you go. why he say that? Damn, he said it. <coughs> I'm sorry, what he was that? It. Oh. He said it. Um, but sir, what? I do oh, believe that you are in a non-parking zone, and uh, this is not acting as an emergency vehicle, so I'm gonna have to tell you if you don't move it. Uh, sir, yeah, you are yeah, not yeah. to touch my vehicle. I'm making that very clear to you. Sir, your lights are not on, and you are in a no-parking zone. Are you blind? I would, I would tow that shit. I mean, he damn near is. He only got one eye and uh -huh. one arm. Right. True. Right, so how about you use your working on. eye to see that the lights are on? They're actually oh, off. They're, they're like yeah, actually off. Oh, like, oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna really? Lie what I'm are these? Are on. these not lights? This guy. So those are not emergency headlights. lights. Those are headlights. Okay, and guess what? Unauthorized parking does not indicate emergency hey, hey. lights. Just ten lights for emergency down. vehicles. Ten, ten toes down, down bro. Ten toes okay, well, down. Okay, uh, well, you know, shit. I would be 100% fine taking a picture of this towing this vehicle and then settling that in court, sir. There would be uh, no I, I settling would. in court. If you take this vehicle down, as it shit. is, it would be illegal and I'd hey, arrest you. Can I point something out? Yeah, go ahead. What's going on? Uh, in terms of government standard, there's nothing listed in this parking spot that says it's no parking. Somebody just put a sign there that says no parking, but there's nothing listed there that says in terms oh, of government. Shit, got a I mean, there's private government pro well, it's private property. No They're parking. allowed to, you know, say that, yeah. you know, this parking spot is This is not private Mosley's. property. This is a street. I mean, this is, this is, I mean there could be an argument an saying it says don't block Mosley's. intersections, so you're not allowed to park along this whole area. Who's winning? Who's winning? I'm sorry, repeat that? What? Are you talking? What? No, I didn't hear what you said. Just move Repeat your car, it. please. Bobby, should we check to see if there's a car? car? Um. Shit. Y'all so, were in that vehicle. What? I'm gonna what? need to see some ID. I don't, I don't got ID. Uh, then why were you driving a car? I wasn't driving. It was parked. No, it was not. You almost hit me. Well, Only because it was parked. Uh, no, sir. I need some identification. I can't. I don't have any. Are you, are you trying to okay, if you were driving you without proper identification, no, you parked. were. You you were literally driving on a sidewalk. Yeah, it was literally parked, and then you said pull over, and I said it's already pulled oh, over. No. Hey, right. Can I go get some chips? Prove it, right. uh, sir. I'm I'm literally a witness to to what happened. Prove it. Where's the video? I don't hey, need video. Hey, uh, Julia, Julia, what's, what's up, up bro? Hmm. Mm, that's not how this works. I think you just got bitched by the tow truck guy and now you're picking on me. Uh, no, no. Uh, you actually moved the vehicle after I specifically instructed you to turn it off. Take it. So again, I am going to need to see some ID. I'm gonna go get in my stolen vehicle and get away from this situation. Uh, Enjoy that no, 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 sir, oh, yeah. sir, hey, sir, Bobby, stop running. Go, stop running, Bobby! you're being detained. <laughs> ah, we did. Hands behind oh, your back. Cuffs, Chris. Make those oh, I'm too tired. Fuck. <laughs> Sir, stop yeah. running! Oh, come on, come oh on, he fast. missed! I juked him! I Jordan! Ah, oh, shit! Oh. Alright, that white vehicle's fleeing. 881 Secondary, westbound Davis Avenue, white and color. Uh, the forum drive cutoff. Sir, if you touch my vehicle, I will arrest you. I'm making that clear. That's a lawful order. If do not touch sir, my vehicle, are, that is a lawful sir, order. All right, sir, hands you behind your back. Car, sir, sir, hand sir? behind your back. Sir, 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 hand behind your back. Sir, hand. You're under Ow. arrest for disobeying a peace officer. All right. Don't be trying this bullshit with me. You done picked the wrong one. Here we are. Break. You y'all can go ahead and pull off that. I just had a tow truck driver hey, try to job, take my vehicle. Shut up, Brandon. Okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay. I am washed. Um. If you moved your car, you wouldn't have to arrest me. Uh, if you had followed very simple instructions, I wouldn't have had to arrest you. Uh, you, you, you wouldn't have had to arrest me, yeah, if you had followed simple instructions, uh, Officer uh, Rhodes, was Um, it? yeah, yeah, no, that, that's me, car. that's me. Alright, well... They're towing hmm. your car! Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's alright. Let's see. Were you going too fast? Uh, no, no, I wasn't, oh. believe it or not. All right. Um, all right. Well, as it currently stands, sir, you are under arrest for disobeying a peace officer. Uh, in addition to joyriding, you took my vehicle without consent. So that being said, at this point in time, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can't be used against you in the court of law. You do have the right to an attorney during any and all questionings, and if you cannot afford one, one will be provided by the state if available. You understand these rights as I read them to you today? Yes. All right. Give me just a moment. I'm just going to take some photos here. Here we are. Uh, could I get some... Uh, my, the battery in my camera just died. Can someone take photos of my vehicle on the flatbed and ensure that you capture that my lights are on? Uh, I do not see... Oh, yeah, no, my headlights. Your headlights. headlights. You know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. We've got to make do with what we've got. Um... Hmm, how am I going to get my vehicle off there is the question. Do you want me to get it off for you? Uh, yeah, if you could, if you could, I'd appreciate that. Uh, can somebody get this vehicle impounded for joyriding? A firm, thank you. All right. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I can't seem to push it off. Oh shuck. Maybe you can see if you can push it off, maybe? Uh, well, let me see. I've just passed it, but... Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well... <laughs> Good Look at what you've caused. This was your fault, officer. Uh, no, it's your fault. You, no, can, you couldn't fault. follow simple instructions. Sir, you, can, you can't read a sign on the road, all right? Mm. No, I read it. Can you, uh, I read it. Can you lift the bed? Thank you for your service. Beautiful. Uh, Have a lovely night. All right. I've, I've fiddled with these things before, and there's Ooh. like a method to the madness sometimes. Uh, yeah, go all the way up. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing there for a second. The first time I uh, handled one of these tow trucks. Okay, now, now I'll put it back down. <sighs> Copy. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Uh, sir, what is your full legal name? Clayton Stokes. Clayton Stokes. All right. Oh, I think I can get it. Yeah, you should be able to now. I think I, I got it unstrapped. If do you, how do you? I don't know how to push these things. He's not strong enough, officer. I got this. All right. Rhodes, do you want to unlock a car? Uh, sure. There you are. One day I'll be able to. You can't afford the licensing. Oh, I don't have to. Oh, uh, just a moment. Here, here, you probably just jump in and try and move it back. Uh, that I cannot. It is still attached. 
Could you maybe move the tow truck like to the parking lot over there or something maybe? Um Hmm. Clayton, I don't know why you decided to. I don't know why you decided to do this. I said it was kind of funny though, I ain't gonna lie. Just put my back to the tow truck. I'll try to just like release the strap so we can well, I'll take the, get I'm your the illegally off. parked car out of here. Sir, it wasn't it's no, right now illegally parked vehicle. Sir, it, it, it did not fall under unauthorized parking. Hmm. All right, well, how about this? I'll, I'll move you a bit closer, and uh, how about you point us in the right direction? What, what is it we need to do? Is there something here I need to grab? You may just have to, you know, detach the vehicle, like, quite a few times before it detaches. I've done it a few times. Um... Hmm. Seems like there's no vehicle attached to this rope. Dude, let me, uh... Here, hop off the back. Let me try to... Oh, oh my god. Yeah. All cuffed. Magician. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, wow. That was interesting. I just kind of jumped up here. Uh, nope. <clears throat> oh. I, I might need to pull down. I, I don't think I can kick this with my leg forward, kind of. All right, just a moment I've here. Been detached. Oh, is, is it actually, though? No. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. Um, all right, well, j just a moment here. Let's try this. Him for you. Yeah. Um, if there's enough room, I'm try to push it, it maybe, and then... Here, hop off the back really quick. Yep, yep. I think you need to go... I think you need to go all the way up. I brought it all the way up. Oh, a little, I don't a think so. there, man. Early... Early pull-out. Hmm... Try... Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, never mind. That'll bring it back down. Okay, now try to detach it. I believe. Stop pushing it. It still looks very I'm much so to detached. That. attached. Well, I definitely um, can have the. I can. I can. The, I can. I can have the locals take it off for you, Rhodes, if you'd like. Just, I would just. I would just have the locals take it off real quick. Hmm. Just a moment. Locals are super good at this. Yeah, it apart. seems like it's not considering that it's attached to the flatbed anymore. Okay. Um. I need the tow truck moved. Oh. I can yeah, do, play if you want to slip me keys. I can probably move it. Thank you. We appreciate you. Oh, here. Just grab the keys out of my pocket. All right. I think you need to be All a little right bit close here. to the truck key there. Yep. yep. Three. Can, can, can you not? Oh. Oh, oh that sorry. works. There we are. Yeah. That works. Right. There we go. Uh, just a moment. Sit tight. All right. Do me a favor. Uh, just pull it up to the stop sign, and I'll see if I can get local tow to bring it back here. I this might be the only way to unscuff it. Oh. You know? Are you guys okay? It's like the wind snap. You know, I... That was not my fault, right? I maintain no, my tow truck good enough. Listen, I'm not enough. claiming that's your fault. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, it is pretty damn funny, though. And that you know what? I'll take wild. I'll take 50 percent of the blame like for the this, but I still blame you for getting in your car and turning your lights off. It's illegally parked. Do you want me to read unauthorized parking for you, so you can understand exactly what I did? I mean, like, I get emergency lights. You know, that's not what it says. That, but you turned off the emergency lights. Mm. So let you know. It, it you know the lights, whole, no, you know the whole gist of it. In the right here, parks in an area that's unsafe or on government park property. Parking on a sidewalk to include any portion of the tire touching the curb. 
park it blah 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 right then it states government vehicles with lights and or sirens on are exempt from the statute i had lights on did i not it does not state emergency lights just lights. you motherfucker yeah well i told you i told you he did multiple times actually. well i'm just saying you know i'm not saying he's <sighs> right but you know just because you're officers don't mean you can park wherever you want yeah and i no, think that but... there's a certain implication that it, it means emergency lights but okay, i don't know uh, what it should be part. more well you know, guess what there's part. the spirit of the law in the letter of the law and i'm an atheist okay oh, sit tight oh, shit. Uh, All right, sir. Uh, now, I do have to search your person. Is there anything that's going to poke staff sticker prod me? Uh, there's a knife on me. A knife? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. My God, go we're going to die. Here. Bro, is, this, is the suspect in a box right now? What? No, he's next to it. I don't even see a box. Yeah, I don't, ignore me. I don't think I saw one either. There we are. Get out of the car. What are you doing? Uh, I was repairing it. You repaired, repaired, repaired it. You repaired it. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna get you placed into the back of the vehicle here, okay? Would you like an attorney? <laughs> yes. Uh, what was that? Yes. Okay, understood. Here we are. I hope someone like Ziggy's available because this would be hilarious. All right, let's see. Who called for 77 just now? So there's no attorneys or lawyers available on the lemon list. All right. I'm not Sandy, but I'm coming. R. 130-76, Mish Row 195. Mr. Stokes, so you, you just had to escalate this unnecessarily. I don't understand. You just had to park in a place you weren't... You shouldn't have been able to park. Well... That's where the delivery zone is. So that's, like, that very section there is very obviously Mosley's property. Okay, but it's across the street from Mosley's. Yes, but that's where they deliver the cars. That's like their zone. Okay, and all y'all had to do was wait. All you had to do was pull your car up fucking 10 feet. Yeah. Or just it, let me push it. You didn't even have to do any work. Well, here's the reality. You are not to touch a police vehicle, especially when their emergency lights are on. You know that I was unable to pursue someone because you then had my vehicle on your tow truck? Well, seems like you shouldn't have parked where you parked. Well, I hope you're content Especially with a felony obstruction charge. Here we are. Won't be my first one. Oh, okay. All right. You know, well, I'm glad you're wearing this like a badge of honor. All right, here we are. If at any point in time you can't see, please let me know. All right, we'll do. All right, when we get over to the cells, I'll verify again if there are any attorneys available, okay? Hello. Hey. Good to see you, sir. You as well. You as well. Cornwood? Oh, hey, Officer Cornwood. Hey. Manny. Wait, what the hell? You're looking very spiffy. Very. Oh, when is he looking spiffy? What are you saying? Yeah, but he's like, he's got a whole suit on right now with a bolo tie and everything. Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. Cornwood. Yeah, this is a suit they made me whenever uh, I was, I was going to come back to town. Actually, Rhodes, I don't know if I ever told you this. They were trying to convince me to come back to town and run for mayor at one point. Oh, yeah, it's oh, my interesting. Suit. Okay, oh, you yeah, should, you should run for for mayor next time. I mean, I I, I tried. Well, I, not really. I I started and then I I dropped out because I was like, well, I, you know, the sheriff's office is gonna go open up, and that's what I can I can do a hell of a lot more I think in the PD right now than uh, than as mayor. Maybe someday, who knows? Arnwood, do you know Mr. Stokes here? Yeah, Clayton Stokes. Yeah the audacity yeah, I mean, to try to tow my car yeah the audacity oh. to park in the loading zone for mosley's with his lights off 
Oh, you had him on at first. No, 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 no. Hold out. on, hold You're on. Not okay. to tow an emergency His headlights. Vehicle. His headlights were on. Yeah. Which and technically in the, the charge. Says, the charge says lights 